All right, y'all, it's important to check your consistency of your paint before you pour it on the board. As you can see, this hair dryer is having a hard time blowing this paint around. I mixed my paint and I didn't check it again before I poured it on the board. Uh, that's a big mistake. I decided to try my dollar store squeegee. I haven't used it but once before and I didn't do a very good job. As you can see here, I'm having problems spreading my paint out to consistency throughout the board. I'm missing a lot of spaces and it's just not working for me. So now I gotta decide what to do next. As you can see, I decided to just use my hand and spread the paint all around. It is very thick, so I'm hoping that my technique I'm using today is going to work. Be sure to check your paints for consistency, again, before you are ready to use them on the canvas. I had mixed my paints probably 20 to 30 minutes before I was ready to use them. And as you can see, some of them had thickened up and I had to thin them back down with water. The technique I'm using today, I'm calling drizzle and blow, because as you can see, I'm just gonna drizzle my paints all over the board and then blow with the hairdryer. I do have select colors that I wanted to use on this painting, as it's going to be a Christmas gift. And you will see in a few minutes the technique I use with the blow dryer. This may have been enough paint for the project that I'm doing, but I wanted it to flow with the second layer uh, for the mixtures to uh, bind in better together. So you will see I get plenty of paint on this board and I will probably get comments that I wasted too much paint. I do realize that later.
Oops. Did you see that? I just dragged my cord through my painting. I wasn't holding my cord properly, so luckily I'll be able to fix this mistake. This is where I realize I still have a lot of paint left on my canvas. So I'm going to have to try to blow it out again to get more paint off of my canvas. Because if you leave too much paint, sometimes your paint will crack as it dries. Be sure to scrape the bottom sides of your canvas where your paint is flowing over. This is called removing the drips. The reason that you do this is because you don't want the paint to continue flowing over your sides. As long as you have drips, it will continue to pull your pattern away from the top of the canvas. Here it is. The end result, I really love this painting. I think the person I'm gonna give it to for Christmas is gonna be very happy. The colors that he wanted are included in here and it looks so awesome with the metallics. I can't wait to see it dry. I really love the cell action that I got in this piece of art. There was no silicone used. This was a combination of the Floetrol and chemical reaction to the different paints. But I do love this uh, piece of art that I created. I think it's a beauty. I can't wait to see it when it's dried. <music> 